We have Mr. Paul Oswal, the Chairman and Managing Director at Vardhaman Textiles, joining us on the phone line right now. Hi, Mr. Oswal. Thank you so much for making time. First up, help us understand the significance of Bangladesh in the overall global uh, textile trade. We understand it's one of the big exporters, but does it also form part of the value chain in terms of raw material supply, etc.? Yeah, it is both ways. Uh, um, Bangladesh has emerged as the second largest garment exporter in the world after China. And uh, number two, that it has, of course, vertical integrated industry like both knitting and weaving, as well as uh, garmenting. But nevertheless, they still import a lot of uh, yarn and fabric from India. Our fabric is being nominated by some of our brands, and uh, garmenting is done in Bangladesh, which may therefore be somewhat uh, temporarily affected in my view. But so far, we have not seen any brand coming back to us to tell us that uh, please suspend shipments or anything of this kind, because the situation, in my view, should turn very normal within next couple of days uh, in Bangladesh. So, I well, think that is because that Bangladesh textile industry is the only bread and butter for the dollars. The 80% of the export is constituted of textiles, and no country can afford to neglect that sector, and therefore whether the government is A or B, uh, but they will settle down soon and they will have to look at this industry in a very constructive and positive way. Mr. Oswal, uh, you know, the other view emerging in the market is that uh, because of the political uncertainty, yes, Bangladesh establishment may not want uh, to disrupt their own domestic sector because it's their main source of dollars. But for the overseas Western buyers, in due course, would they not want to, you know, diversify a bit away on that, even if it comes a slightly higher cost to other more reliable trade partners? And could India as emerge as a beneficiary of that? That is a sense which, uh, you know, yeah. large section of the market believes. Uh, do you yeah, see to that? Some extent, yes. uh, to, hmm. to some extent, I may agree with you, uh, but that strategy of various brands was in place even prior to this disruption. And uh, it is vindicated now that disruption, therefore, will confirm their view that better it is that some part we should source from outside Bangladesh as well. Because when they thought of China plus, and then Bangladesh and Vietnam were the best places from which they were sourcing. That's why you find that both Vietnam and Bangladesh have emerged as second and third largest exporter of garments. But India still has not occupied a very prominent position, maybe we are in the fourth position of government, having about 16, 17 billion dollars, compared to Vietnam, 40 billion dollars, and uh, Bangladesh exceeding 50 billion dollars. And another effect, aspect I must like to highlight here with you, that Bangladesh industry is very mature on scale-wise, entrepreneurship-driven, and number three, that uh, it is a family-devoted company. In India, Extra industry is very few units are which which are where family is hand on type of business and there it is now about ninety percent family hand on business. Even the children coming after a Harvard education, they start driving textile business. In India I have seen such limited, very limited few instances. So therefore Bangladesh textile industry is very strong, integrally vertical vertical I mean I mean vertically integrated. Integrated, yeah. Yeah. Rose, so I get your point three, that you believe that this is going to be only temporary. You are expecting temporary. things to normalize within this week itself and there won't be a Bangladesh plus one the way China plus one turned out. And India of course hasn't managed to uh, eat that huge market uh, share which was uh, available. But sir, I wanted yeah. to come down to the company specific questions now. Uh, wanted to understand what is overall your size of exports and what kind of growth rate do you envision? Visage and your export uh, potential from here on? When it comes to uh, fabric and yarn, we have different uh, percentages. In yarn, we are exporting roughly about 35-40% of our yarn production as export yarn, exported yarn. And similar is the fabric. Fabric may be somewhat less, but 30-35% uh, being exported. And primarily it is going uh, brand promotion. Because brand nomination brand nominate our fabric because they find the merit in buying one fabric. We have different varieties of fabric that we produce and therefore they need a, a basket of products which we can serve them quite well. And therefore they nominate our fabric to 
governmental rather in india or bangladesh and sometimes to both because they say they try to spread the risk some products in india some products in bangladesh but then our primary export is bangladesh of course some export go to even latin america and some to indonesia but that is very limited because here our access is far nearer and the lead time that is required by the governmenters for the purpose or for, for converting to government is 45 to 50 days and Understood. we can therefore ship regular to Bangladesh. This is sure. a normal primary sector. No, sure. Uh, sir, I take that point. But, uh, you know, there was this other point as well that a lot of market participants were raising that uh, there are a lot of Indian family-owned businesses or Indian listed companies that have their establishments in Bangladesh because of the cheap labor, the availability of raw material, etc. The question is because of these unrest which have been happening uh, and in parts it's been going on for a while, do you think those will come back to India and the manufacturing units will uh, uh, come back to India and that make in India will start to get a big push? The one thing I have found in Bangladesh society, they have respect for businesses because they are employment creators. And uh, 4.5 or 5 million people are job, are creating, have, been, have employed in textile industry over there. And if we see that one person uh, feels about 4 to 5 number of family members, so it's about 2.5 crore people are there who are, I mean, dependent on uh, textile industry, which is quite large. And the society doesn't harm the businesses over there. They can harm political, per political persons or parties, etc. But I think sooner or later, you see within a couple of days, everything will settle down. They will try to work out a solution, right. political solution for this. Problem. Mr. Oswal, I, I'm, I, I can understand, but uh, what I am uh, uh, curious to know more about it, Yes, Bangladesh's textile industry is very well governed and operates very well, uh, which will not get impacted by this because you have an operation over there. What I'm talking about is the future flows of orders from overseas. Will they continue coming to Bangladesh in the similar manner as they have been in the last two, three years? Or will those inquiries come incrementally to India? Is it that some inquiries keep on floating to India also, as I said before that uh, the brands are diversifying their um, area of basket. They don't want to depend either on China or Bangladesh only. But how much they will shift away from Bangladesh is a question which I said beg the answer, I can tell you honestly. So Bangladesh is a competitive advantage. One advantage which they have recently got is that their cotton is cheaper. With the cotton they import is much cheaper than cotton that we import from USA or Brazil, because we have an import duty content of 11%, which is a prohibiting factor today, artificially created because government levied this tax in 2021. At that time, of course, our cotton was far cheaper and we were competitive. But of late now, our cotton has become far more expensive than even Bangladeshi imported cotton from USA. So as a result, Bangladesh, we cannot beat as on today, in my view. And uh, there is very little chance for India to attract more orders because of uh, the industry's uh, health conditions. Mm. Financial health conditions are not uh, proper. Please understand, cotton factor is a major because right. India exports mostly cotton garments sure. and cotton fabric. No, no, I think I completely take that point that, uh, of course, the raw material price plays a huge uh, differential. So if it's cheaper in Bangladesh, it's not that businesses will run in a hurry to come to India. Thanks so much, Mr. Oswal, for putting Thank that you. into Thank perspective you. and Thank joining you. us with this quick take.